Today we're at the Frederick Grinnell Training Center in Cranston, Rhode Island with Devin O'Leary to discuss how to set the Tyco model ACC1 dry pipe valve accelerator. Devin, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. So before we get started, could you talk a little bit about what the ACC1 is designed to do? Of course. So first, the ACC1 is designed for use with the Tyco model DPV1 dry pipe valve and many other valves you might encounter in the field. It speeds up operation of the dry pipe valve when air pressure drops at a rate of more than one PSI per minute. When the accelerator does trip, it transmits air into the differential chamber of the dry valve, which in turn negates the differential within the valve, allowing water to flow into the system. And what does the setting procedure look like for the ACC-1? It's important to remember, the ACC-1 must be reset and restored to service as soon as possible after an operation. It's a 14-step process, which sounds like a lot, but it's pretty straightforward. First, you're going to close the system main control valve, the air supply control valve, and the accelerator control valve. Next, open the inspector's test connection, then open the main drain valve as well as any auxiliary low point drains connected to the system. After the system has been drained, close the inspector's test connection and all auxiliary drain valves, but leave the main drain valve open. Could you explain why we leave it open? Sure, this step is important because we need to make sure that all water is drained out of the system before we reset the dry pipe valve. Now that all water has evacuated the system, reset the dry pipe valve as described in the instructions provided in the appropriate technical data sheet, and restore normal system air pressure. Remember to leave the main control valve closed and the main drain open. If you're resetting after a trip of the system, the next step is vital. While depressing the plunger of the dry pipe valve's automatic drain valve, partially open the accelerator control valve and allow the water in the accelerator piping to discharge. After the water stops discharging, close the accelerator control valve and release the plunger. Now, remove and clean the strainer at the accelerator inlet. Why is this step important? It's important because a clogged strainer can stop the accelerator from functioning correctly. After you clean the strainer, put it back in and you can move on to the next step. Slowly, remove the vent plug located on the side of the accelerator cover and bleed off any residual air pressure in the differential chamber. Unscrew the knurled reset knob until you hear a click, which is the sound of the lever snapping back into the set position. Screw the reset knob back in until it's finger tight. Next, replace the vent plug and verify that the system pressure has returned to normal. Then, Partially open the accelerator control valve. Note the time it takes for the pressure in the differential chamber of the accelerator to reach 10 PSI. The time should be within the range of values indicated on the data sheet for optimum performance of the accelerator. And what if it falls outside of this range? If the time to pressurize the differential chamber to 10 PSI is not within the range of the values given in the data sheet, then close the accelerator control valve and follow the corrective procedure as described in the care and maintenance section in the data sheet. When the gauge of the accelerator and the air gauge on the system are equalized, the accelerator is set and ready for service. Now, close the accelerator control valve and slowly open the dry pipe valve's low body drain valve. This bleeds off any excess water above the priming level that may have been collected on the top of the clapper. Close the low body drain valve, return system pressure to its normal value, and then completely open the control valve to the accelerator. Finally, partially open the main control valve, close the main drain valve as soon as water is flowing, and then completely open the main control valve. The fire protection system is now ready for service. Thanks for sharing the Tyco model ACC1 dry pipe valve accelerator setting procedure, Devin. My pleasure. To learn more about the Tyco model ACC1, visit our website. 